Here's Scott V. Good evening. We start tonight with breaking news. It looks like there is a major shakeup underway that is inching Victoria closer to landing a WHL team. Rumors, reports flying fast in the last few days and now hours. And now we can say sources close to Czech News have told us that RG Properties, owner of the ECHL Salmon Kings, have bought the Chilliwack Bruins. And joining me now, head of our sports department, Jeff King, with more on this developing story. And it's looking like that the Bruins are that much closer to actually coming to Victoria. Yeah, the deal that uh, I was told from my sources today, the deal was actually signed last Monday. The team was purchased uh, somewhere between 6 and uh, $7 million. Uh, it still has to have approval by the Western Hockey League Board of Governors, but I think that's, uh, you know, that will pass for sure. So I would uh, pretty well uh, hit home that the uh, Western Hockey League will be back here this September for the beginning of the 2011 Do you think it'll be that soon? Do you think it'll be here? Well, I think it has to because if you look at the other way, you know, Chilliwack would have to stay for another uh, year in their rate, knowing they're going to leave, and we'd have to have the Salmon Kings here, and, you know, it would just be bad for attendance, bad for business, and I'm sure bad for the WHL, and they just want to get uh, things back underway. Now, there's some other neat things going on, or sort of bizarre things in a way. Actually, Brian Burke and Glenn say they're are part of the majority uh, owners of the Chilliwack. Chilliwack Bruins. Now, the minority group wanted to keep the team in Chilliwack. The WHL said, hey, that their uh, first choice was for the team to stay there. And there was a group uh, by the minority owners, along with Justin Moore, Noel, and Willie Mitchell, that offered $7.75 million to keep the team in Chilliwack. But uh, uh, Burke and Sather say, no, the deal is done with the, uh, you know, to ship the team to uh, Victoria. So uh, watch for them to come here. But the neat thing is, is now the talks are that the WHL may even expand into Chilliwack so that they can keep a Western Hockey League team there. Okay. Also, the minority owners of uh, the team in Chilliwack, they also manage Prospera Place and they need a tenant in there. So they're in talks with the uh, Prince George Cougars and the Kootenai Ice to perhaps buy those teams now and move them into Chilliwack. So, you know, that's all just uh, speculation, of course, as well. But it is a done deal that the team is sold to RG Properties, you know. And was it a coincidence that Darren Parker was hired on by RG Properties uh, just a couple of days ago uh, to help out the sales and marketing of the team? And, of course, the Parker family own a team in the WHL. They have lots of experience uh, in that area. And another thing to think about is uh, in the Nanaimo because the WHL has always said they didn't want to come back to the island unless they could be in Victoria and the Nanaimo. So is it a coincidence as well that Kelly Rudy is now part of the ownership group in the Nanaimo? Uh, you know, Bill Bestwick's on the way out. My, Mike Vandekamp is on the way in. I talked to uh, Ken Wagner before, and he and uh, Kelly Rudy, you know, they've got deep pockets. They've got a lot of connections. So sources are also telling me that, you know, look for... You know, funds to get raised uh, through Rudy and Wagner to get some kind of arena built in the Nile as well, so that the WHL will have what they wanted, which is two franchises here. And many wonder, you know, what about if the Phoenix Coyotes moved back to uh, Winnipeg and then the Manitoba Moose came back up? And I think that was all part of the deal with the Western Hockey League wanting to sign the paper last week to say, hey, um, if the you know franchise comes open that uh, Victoria say, hey, we're committed to the Western Hockey League. So the big difference tonight is because you've been covering this, the uh, Times Call, this has been covering this, CKMW has been yes. covering this, talking about the, the, the Bruins coming to Victoria, but yeah. the difference is now is that we know that RG Properties, your sources are telling you, My they have tell me the Bruins. that they have, uh, th that the papers are signed, the only thing they're waiting for is for approval from the WHL Board of Governors. So, I would say it's a slam dunk. The WHL is coming back to Victoria. All right, thanks a lot, Jeff. We're not done with our coverage on this story as it's breaking and developing. We throw things over now to Kylie Stanton with a look at a bit of history of the WHL here on the island and some reaction. It's been a long time since a Western Hockey League team called Victoria home, but rumors it would always make a comeback never let up. And now things seem to be falling into place. Sources tell Czech News a deal was signed last week for RG Properties to buy the Chilliwack Bruins. It's hinging on approval from the WHL Board of Directors, but fans are already gearing up. Uh, well, I think it's going to be a lot of excitement about it, frankly. I think that it's a great brand of hockey, the passion, the kids are young, and they really want to prove themselves. The league isn't new to the city. For 23 seasons, the Victoria Cougars played top-level junior hockey, taking home major titles with the help of some big names. Their legacy lives on along the walls of the Save on Foods Memorial Center, a facility with closely connected history. 
The arena was originally built on the condition it would secure a WHL team, the outcome of a 2002 referendum. When RG Properties was unable to meet that criteria, the company turned to the ECHL. Enter the Salmon Kings. Then, in March of this year, another attempt. RG Properties requested an extension on their lease until 2046, again pending a WHL franchise. Something that, that we've left up to RG Properties as the um, operators of the arena uh, to pursue. It was the city's job to just provide them the opportunity to do that. Now, learning a deal is on the table, it's all but certain the transition is imminent. And according to the experts, change is a good thing. And it's a different brand of hockey that's, uh, that'll be exciting and something that the community can really get behind. Uh, I think it makes a lot of sense and it seems to be the logical thing that Victoria can get behind and really rally behind and, and be able to put the attendance in there to make it worth its while. Victoria hockey fans will play a big role in its success and there could be a lot to look forward to. How fun would it have been to say, I watched Wayne Gretzky skate when he was 17. The excitement could be underway as early as September. And we'll have much more on this story when Jeff King joins us. I think which, uh, unless something bizarre happens, is coming back to town. It'll be here this September. I uh, worked in Regina for a lot of years and covered the Western Hockey League and absolutely loved the dub. Um, so, pretty interesting. I have a question for you. Now. Uh, the Salmon Kings, yeah. what happens there? Uh, does, does the team dissolve yeah. the organization or do they move somewhere? Well, I mean, I'm sure they'll try and shop the team around, but um, I would think that the team will just uh, just dissolve. Unfortunately. So this is really our last shot if, if, in terms of the playoffs? This is, this is probably it for the Salmon Kings? I would think so, again, unless somehow the Board of Governors and the Washington Hockey League uh, doesn't approve the sale, which I'm sure they will. This will be the end of the Salmon Kings here in town. Well, also, uh, a lot of, I guess, good news, bad news. Yeah, it's been a That's tough yeah. to and, I, and, you know, I've already received some emails from Sam King fans who have said, you know, I'm not going to be uh, buying tickets to the Western Hockey League, but on the other side of the coin, there's a lot of people that didn't go out and see the ECHL because they are Western Hockey League fans. Right. So, uh, you know, I just hope that uh, whatever team is here next year, and it most likely will be the Western Hockey League, the fans get out and support because... Uh, we need to support the main tenant in our building. Down. We do, and they got to keep Marty. Yeah, we're going to have to yeah, do something with Marty. Just change the jersey, it's and Marty <laughs> stays. Marty stays with Marty the team. the real moment. That's right, okay. just like how Ed stays with us. Yes. And he's next. <laughs>